I turn my gaming PC into a Bitcoin miner and I earn about 10 bucks a day in passive income doing it or basically $300 for nothing, right? And I don't even have any kind of crazy graphics cards. I've got like mid-level last gen stuff. I've got a 1660 Super and a 1660 Ti in my gaming PC. And not only did I put my graphics cards to work, I also put my CPU to work. So I'm stacking some sats or mining Bitcoin, right? With my CPU and my graphics cards are mining. And today I'm gonna just be covering just kind of what I did, why, and to be honest, how you're an idiot if you have a graphics card, if you have a decent CPU, and you're not putting it to work when you're not using it, cause that's free money, dude. Do you like free money? Maybe you got too much money, you don't care, and go ahead and click off the video then, right? But how can you not get excited, right? I get free lunch every day with this thing. Like shout out to the crypto bull run and all you dog stock buyers on Robin Hood. So let's go ahead and run 10 seconds of tales, our resident Shiba Inu and our Dogecoin here on the Voxcoin YouTube channel. And if you're just tuning in, please subscribe. We're chasing 1 million subscribers and that's insane. Here's a quick message from our month's video sponsor, Compass who are aiming to become the best marketplace for the purchase of Bitcoin mining ASICs and the best place to find cheap power prices at verified mining co-location facilities around the world. Mine with Compass with our link in the video description below. All right, guys, let's jump into the basics. The whole goal of this video, short, sweet, to the point, get your mining, get your earning money, get your making your passive income because that's one of the keys to financial freedom. Uh, I want to preface this with one thing though. Although we're mining Bitcoin, right? We're doing it indirectly. Bitcoin is mined by application specific integrated circuit miners, ASIC miners, these loud, power hungry, just purpose built machines. And they sound like this. Yeah, they're loud, they're hot and they're kind of a pain to deal with. Not something that your wife or girlfriend or anyone in your house likes. I mean, even Tails hates them. No! But what we're gonna do today are mine altcoins or alternate cryptocurrencies, really like Ethereum and Monero, if you're familiar with those. And then NiceHash acts as a hash rate marketplace. So basically you sell them your computer power, which they rent out among other things, and they'll pay you out in Bitcoin for doing so. If you noticed in the intro or you saw a recent video talking about the NiceHash Quick Miner who sponsored Voscoin as well as the Linus Tech Tips channel, and he got massively downvoted by all the crybaby gamer nerds on there that aren't real nerds like us. Because real nerds are into cryptocurrency. Real nerds are into Bitcoin. Real nerds are into financial freedom and just empowerment right that's what bitcoin does because putting money and power back into your hands instead of legacy financial institutions but now i'm getting a little excited i need to stop uh so the quick miner is super cool and and it's linked out below click click and you get started um instantly mining on a windows 10 pc and so i'm in chrome remote desktop and all i did was download this quick miner program and then right click and run it as administrator and just like that, I'm off to the races. They even have an overclock function built into the quick miner. The NiceHash quick miner is actually kind of legendary from a mining point of view. So that you know, they optimize the miner basically. They're overclocking it and they're increasing the hash rate, unless you have a higher mining profitability. And you can even like enable CPU mining from it. And the quick miner is fantastic, right? It works well, it's quick and it's easy. And we already have a video talking about that. But today's focus is taking it a step further. You're like, okay, I'm into this. Uh, so I wanna go ahead and download their main miner. In order to do that, you're gonna go ahead, create an account. We've got a link out below. It's a referral link, but I get literally nothing for you using it. Still, I always really appreciate when you guys use our links and everything like that. So you, you sign up, you logged in, you got your quick miner, it's all good. And you're like, you know what? I like this. I want to I make it a little bit more permanent. Okay, I want to download something that doesn't require me to keep my browser open, right? A little more stability in my life. So you click over to mining because that's what you're here to do. You click on the download miner or add ASIC. And from here, they have the NiceHash quick miner. They have the NiceHash miner, NiceHash OS, 
and obviously these other options. They even just simply recommend the Quick Miner for NVIDIA, which is what I have. But let's go ahead and take it a step further and download their full-blown miner and then open this software. Pretty easy, pretty straightforward. One thing you always wanna make sure you watch out for is your antivirus. Because if it quarantines your miner, well, then you're not gonna be mining and thus you're not gonna be making money. What is this? Okay, thought it was my antivirus. I was like, all right, here we go. It's time to fight. Uh, but yeah, obviously, if you, if you wanna use this program, you make it this far and you decide to do this, then I mean, you obviously need to trust this, right? Um, and then so third party disclaimers here. I mean, personally, I'm fine with it. Uh, you know, it's it's more about downloading miners from bad sources or custom variations like nice ash's goal is obviously not to have a bad miner infiltrate their uh, their system, right? That would just completely destroys their brand. So one thing that's really interesting is if you download the actual just full blown miner here, see right there, right there, that's the antivirus. So we come in to uh, this location and we allow it on the device. Windows security, we allow it on the device. So now that that's happened, we need to just close the program and I'll restart the miner. And one thing that is very interesting about their full blown, just, you know, complete mining rig, right? Is the fact that they give the option so we're going to enable cpu mining as well and what, what happens here is you begin benchmarking it tests your graphics cards on all the different miners and it's basically looking for your hash rate and with your hash rate it can understand your basically potential mining profitability and they use their profit switching algorithm to basically direct your hardware wherever they want they're going to try to make the most money mining with it and pay you in turn the most money for mining with them i mean they want to make money you make money i mean that's the whole business right they're, they're trying to make it more lucrative to mine with them what i really like about the benchmarking cycle is that it stores the the benchmark for you so you can see basically what the speed was and the potential mining profitability and then you can look these things up like you know what is kapow right you know we look we talking about a cartoon from like 10 years ago or a comic book no that's raven and it's a play on prog pow and the noise a raven makes but again you know it's very interesting stuff especially if you're new to mining like what's beam v3 maybe the beam coin then you got crazy stuff like octopus and obviously cuckoo cycle like what was that banjo's best friend no that's going to be correlated to grin and grin coin mining Another really interesting thing about the desktop miner that they offer is they'll run you through all of basically their recommended miners here, right? So maybe there are some coins associated or you know better mining speed with Mini Z or Crypto Dredge or the G miner. And it does not automatically install them all for you, but you can elect to say install them. So I could come over here and I could click install and obviously you know there's the whole third party miner warning but you know this every year over year the nice hash miner like does get mi nicer and it's very interesting to see mining evolve over time and i mean you wouldn't believe i mean look this is what <laughs> this is what the nice hash miner looked like the first time i used it in i believe march 2017 i mean it it was very bare bones and it was like one of the nicest like easy to use miners at that time four years is like a long time and a short amount of time like kind of all at the same time Whoa. the biggest complaint right from like a noob newbie beginner novice point of view right is the fact that they don't have like some kind of automatic overclocking option built in see this is another thing you need to watch out for and another reason i believe they moved to the quick miners you see how intrusive windows defender is against mining software you know let's say it's trojan this and that whatever and there have been bad mining softwares absolutely but again 
you won't get anywhere, especially in today's market where there's a lot of smart people and a lot of people are atten paying attention and the participation is high. Like You're going to make more money just being a valid actor, right? As opposed to just trying to scam. Especially if the product you have is like good at all to any degree. But other than that, guys, it's pretty simple. It's just trying to like figure out the best settings for your graphics card and also like what you want to do. Do you care more about efficiency? I just opened up MSI Afterburner, the most common overclocking tool for graphics cards, right? So maybe I want to like increase mining proficiency. Well, again, these aren't recommended overclock settings for everything, but we just keep it simple with the classic plus 100 plus 100 reduce your power limit right and depending on how much you love this graphics card increase the temp limit it's, it's probably going to be all right and you don't want it to be that high either also variable fan speeds are absolutely annoying it should be like a pretty static thing like this graphics card is going to do this so x fan speed should be good for it right and so maybe 60 is like the sweet spot where it cools it and it doesn't sound like your graphics card is about to leave the stratosphere. So just some things to keep in mind. And these are also things that you're going to need to be doing if you download the desktop miner, which kind of brings me back full circle, right? And so you can see it, I guess the benchmark actually just completed and you can see that it's moved to mining. And from here, it's going to simply begin mining. But this kind of brings me full circle here. Like you can see how involved this is and, and all the steps associated, right? And that's cool, that's great, and it's a lot of fun. And there's, you know, definitely a lot of potential reward, reward there. But there is so much ease of use when you utilize the NiceHash Quick Miner, which let me, let me go back and slow down for a second, right? So we're, we're locked into nice hash, right? Here's our, here's our dashboard. And then we click over to mining and then we click on download miner or ASIC and even Nvidia is recommended here, right? And we click, go to GitHub and download and then click, click and you download the installer right there. I already have it installed here on my desktop. So I just have the nice hash quick miner V 880 and you right click it, you run it as administrator and it's ready to mine, okay? Here's here's the big kicker, nicehash.com slash quick miner. Again, I got all this stuff linked out and I'll go ahead and enable CPU mining. Click try mining now. And maybe you don't care about overclocking, right? You just wanna take whatever they recommend, keep it simple. You're a busy guy, you got a day job, right? You don't care, you don't even care about crypto. You're just trying to make some money. You're just trying to get put your hardware to use, make some Bitcoin, and you're gonna dump it. Dump it. All right, you just want some dollars. You want that free lunch every day. And honestly, you know, we could have a whole topic about it. Honestly, your loss if you're missing out on crypto, but I totally respect a free Chipotle lunch every single day. Chipotle. 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 And in a bull market, I might even get some guac. So that'll bring it full circle, guys. I mean, NiceHash is really killing it as far as just easy to get into mining and, and use mining with their new quick miner. And our previous video was centered entirely around that. But I want to kind of to, I want to kind of open it up a little bit further, uh, you know, talk a little bit more about the process involved and if you want to just go ahead and do the standalone miner and what's involved with that. And that one, it gets me a little bit more nostalgic. It's a lot more like more traditional mining software and like all-in-one solutions. The quick miner is kind of like grossly easy, which I guess is like hats off to them for the development of that. And it really like shows the direction we're heading with, with crypto mining and just the the normalization of it, the, the professional nature. It's not so hard. It's not so clunky. I mean, you used to just rejoice if you had a working crypto wallet or you had a good light wallet, right? Or a good multi-coin wallet. Now you have literally multiple good options to choose from. Whereas before, you know, you were just hoping Exodus was going to add another coin or remember like Jax, whatever happened to them, no one even talks about them anymore. 
Or MetaMask was like a very light version just for an Ethereum browser wallet. But you didn't know about that one. Little did you know that they were gonna serve over 4 million users a month now. Super crazy stuff. So anyway, just to round it out, if you wanna get into mining, super simple, super easy. Simple answer is yes, do it, right? And you can download these miners as standalone miners and learn how to do all that. We've got a lot of video guides here on the channel. But if you're looking for the quickest, easiest, all-in-one solution, it is it is the nice ash quick miner they are leading the race right now so as always i hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you did please subscribe hit the thumbs up leave a comment below and let me know what you're mining with and why and how much you're making and if you're just cashing in or you're thinking about expanding i always love to talk mining so let me know in the comments below and also join our discord server i'll see you on the next one